Hello everyone. Today we will discuss questions of cardiovascular system. Some questions are repeated or sometimes the same question is asked in long question as well as short note. I also have included in the same manner so that you can prepare the same question to write as full question or short note. Starting with long questions. Number 1. Describe the property of rhythmicity and conductivity in cardiac muscle. 2. Action potential in cardiac muscles. 3. Describe the origin and spread of cardiac impulse. Write in brief about various types of heart blocks. 4. Discuss origin and spread of cardiac impulse. Discuss how the autonomic nervous system influences it. Describe the origin and spread of cardiac impulse. Discuss different types of heart blocks. 6. Describe the origin and spread of bioelectric potential in cardiac muscle. How does autonomic nervous system affect it? 7. Discuss the origin and spread of cardiac impulse with suitable diagram. Describe a method of its recording and significance of a record. 8. Describe various events during cardiac cycle. Discuss ventricular pressure changes during cardiac cycle. 9. Describe pressure and volume changes of right side of the heart during cardiac cycle. Correlate these changes with phonocardiogram and jugular venous pulse. 10. Discuss various phases of cardiac cycle with reference to heart sounds. 11. Describe cardiac cycle with special mention of various pressure changes. 12. Pressure volume changes during cardiac cycle. 13. Define electrocardiogram. Describe the waves, segments and intervals of normal ECG and add a note on ECG leads. 14. Electrocardiographic leads. 15. Describe ECG in lead 2. What is the significance of PR interval? 16. Discuss the normal components of ECG. 17. Enumerate different types of recording leads. Discuss the significance of deflection and intervals of human ECG. 18. Central venous pressure in physiology. 19. Define cardiac output. How it is measured and discuss factors controlling it. 20. What is fixed principle? How is it used to measure cardiac output? How cardiac output is regulated in health? 21. Determinants of cardiac output and factors affecting it. 22. Define heart rate and discuss its regulation. 23. Describe the regulation of heart rate and factors affecting it. 24. Describe the character of normal heart sounds and a method for the recording. 25. Arterial pulse. 26. Difference between arterial and venous pulsation. 27. Jugular venous pulse. 28. Write down definitions associated with blood pressure. Describe short term regulation of blood pressure. 29. Define blood pressure. Describe the regulation of arterial blood pressure in detail. 30. Role of baroreceptors in blood pressure regulation. 31. Define blood pressure. Discuss factors affecting systolic blood pressure. 32. Blood pressure, definition, determinants and short term regulation. 33. Blood pressure and heart rate have inverse relationship. 34. Hypertension. 35. Define circulatory shock and describe the stages of shock and list the type and causes of shock. 36. Discuss response initiated by hypovolemic circulatory shock. 37. Define, classify and write stages of circulatory shock. Discuss non-progressive or compensated hypovolemic shock. 38. Discuss hypovolemic shock. 39. Hypovolemic shock, definition, causes, stages and compensatory mechanisms. 40. Compensatory mechanisms in cardiovascular shock. 41. 
give an account of coronary circulation 42 describe the coronary circulation in man and explain its significance and factors affecting it 43 what is normal blood flow through coronary circulation explain the basic changes and regulation of coronary blood flow 44 what is normal coronary blood flow describe the physiology of coronary blood flow 45 coronary artery disease 46 physiological basis of generalized edema in right ventricular failure 47 what is triple response discuss the dynamics of capillary circulation short notes 1 physiological profile of action potential in cardiac myocyte 2 pacemaker potential in sinoatrial node 3 action potential in ventricular muscle fiber 4 frank starling's law 5 physiological purview of different phases of cardiac cycle 6 give physiological basis of decreased blood flow in inner portion of left ventricular wall during systole 7 jugular venous pulse pressure wave pattern in relation of cardiac cycle 8 jugular venous pressure tracing curve 9 cardiac cycle 10 describe events occurring during left ventricular systole along with changes in the pressure and volume 11 ventricular diastolic phase of cardiac cycle 12 pressure and volume changes in left ventricle during cardiac cycle 13 factors influencing and diastolic volume 14 junctional tissues of heart 15 conduction pathway of cardiac impulse 16 describe propagation of cardiac impulse 17 origin and spread of cardiac impulses 18 heart sounds 19 second heart sound 20 physiological basis of normal ecg 21 ecg 22 intervens triangle 23 waves segments and intervals of normal ecg 24 pr interval and its significance 25 regulation of heart rate 26 stroke volume 27 cardiac output 28 cardiac output and factors regulating it 29 method of measurement of cardiac output 30 explain homeometric and heteromatric regulation of cardiac output 31 define cardiac index describe one method to measure it 32 venous return 33 peripheral resistance and its physiological role 34 baroreceptor reflex mechanism 35 list various mechanisms of regulation of blood pressure describe any mid term regulatory mechanism 36 role of baroreceptors in regulation of blood pressure 37 reflex mechanism for maintaining normal arterial blood pressure 38 short term regulation of blood pressure 39 long term regulation of blood pressure 40 renin angiotensin system 41 regulation of arterial blood pressure 42 basal gyris reflex and its physiological significance 43 phlebogram 44 wind castle vessels 45 circulatory shock 46 hypovolemia or hemorrhagic shock 47 hemorrhagic shock 48 shock definition types compensatory mechanism involved in non progressive shock 49 coronary circulation 50 special features of coronary circulation 51 regulation of coronary circulation 52 cutaneous circulation 53 explain the regulation of cutaneous blood flow and write a note on triple response 54 cerebral blood flow and its regulation 55 fetal circulation 56 uterine circulation Applied physiology questions 1 briefly describe the normal components of ecg 
how ECG changes are utilized to understand the heart block. To explain with diagram the changes in the volume as well as electrical activity of heart during different phases of cardiac cycle. 3. Describe briefly short term regulation of blood pressure. 4. Describe the applied aspect of coronary circulation. 5. Enumerate cardiac efficiency test. Describe any one in detail. 6. Microcirculation. 7. Cardiovascular changes during exercise. 8. Effects of exercise on cardiovascular system. 9. Cardiovascular changes during moderate exercise. 10. Increase in the heart rate during exercise. 11. Physiological basis of electrocardiographic changes in myocardial infarction. 12. Hypertension. 13. Methods to measure cardiac output. 14. Use of echocardiography in learning physiology. 15. Write about the compensative reactions in body in hypovolemic shock. 16. Give an account of cardiopulmonary changes during muscular exercise. Give reasons in 2-3 to three sentences. 1. What is pacemaker potential? 2. SA node is normal pacemaker of heart. 3. Pacemaker potential is present in SA node. 4. Physiological functions of AV node. 5. Physiological significance of AV nodal delay. 6. Causes of AV nodal delay. 7. What is end diastolic volume and its significance? 8. End diastolic volumes affect heart rate. 9. End ventricular diastolic volume affects cardiac output. 10. Cardiac output depends on end diastolic volume. 11. What is fixed principle and its application? 12. Normal cardiac output is 13. Cardiac output increases during increased sympathetic stimulation and decreases during increased parasympathetic stimulation. 14. Ejection fraction 15. Plateau in cardiac action potential 16. Values in milliseconds of various types of refractory periods in cardiac muscle. 17. A sharp rise is observed in intraventricular pressure of left ventricle during isovolumetric contraction period. 18. Normally atrial and ventricular systole never overlap or simultaneous contraction of atria and ventricles do not take place. 19. First heart sound marks the beginning of ventricular systole. 20. Second heart sound is markedly split during inspiration. 21. At the onset of exercise, second heart sound is splitted. 22. Cardiac muscle cannot be tetanized. 23. Veins are capacitance vessels. 24. Arterioles are resistance blood vessels. 25. Capillaries do not rupture in spite of being thin-walled. 26. The capillaries, although thin-walled, can withstand great amount of internal pressure without bursting. 27. What does prominent Q wave indicate? 28. PR interval and its significance. 29. Causes of prolonged PR interval in ECG. 30. T wave in ECG. 31. P wave QRS complex and T wave are recorded as negative deflection in lead AVR. 32. QRS complex is called the initial ventricular complex. 33. What is hypovolemic shock? 34. Autorhythmicity. 35. Bradycardia is observed after short session of meditation. 36. Why norepinephrine administration causes bradycardia in an individual? 37. What is tachycardia? 38. Physiological causes of tachycardia. 39. Chronotropic effect. 40. Sinus arrhythmia and its causes. 
41 heart rate is inversely proportional to blood pressure 42 cardiac muscles have longest refractory period 43 what is the normal value of systolic and diastolic blood pressure in elder persons 44 diastolic blood pressure is measure of peripheral resistance 45 baroreceptors are phasic receptors 46 bainbridge reflex 47 frank starling's law 48 starling's law explains how congestive cardiac failure is normally prevented 49. Capillaries are known as exchange vessels. 50. Capillaries are non-resistant blood vessels. 51. Triple response. 52. Angina pectoralis. 53. Why ischemic heart pain is referred to the chest and inside of left arm. 54. Explain role of aspirin in prevention of myocardial infarction. 55. Ventricular premature contraction. 56. Coronary blood flow is phasic blood flow. 57. Coronary arteries are perfused during diastole. 58. Name factors controlling coronary blood flow. 59. Hypoproteinemia leads to edema. 60. Severe hyperkalemia can lead to ventricular fibrillation or Stoppage of heart in diastole. 61. Inspiration alters heart rate. 62. Increased systemic blood pressure increases end diastolic volume. 63. In lead V5, recording QRS complex appears negative. 64. Rapid coronary blood flow occurs during diastole. 65. Maximum pressure in coronary artery occurs during ventricular diastole. 66. Winkessel effect. 67. Frank Starling's law. 68. Turbulent blood flow. 69. Peripheral resistance. 70. Venous return increases during muscular exercise. 71. Nocturia is a cardinal feature of congestive heart failure. 72. The physiological rationale for using cardiac glycoside digitalis, that is a sodium potassium ATPase inhibitor, in a failing heart. 73. Regular physical exercise leads to fall in arterial blood pressure. 74. Heart rate and blood pressure both increases during exercise. 75. Heart rate increases even before actual exercise is undertaken 76 march passed for long time under the sun may lead to unconsciousness in some subjects 77 medical students are at a higher risk for varicose veins 78 development of edema on fit in hypertension 79 define murmurs how are they produced so this is all about questions of cardiovascular system. Thank you.